everyone, it's Anne Marie from Scrap Doll 7 Creations, and today I'm coming to show you um, a project share and a small Hobby Lobby haul. Okay, so we'll start with the, the project share. Um, the first one, well, okay, well, I start with the Traveler's Notebook. So the first um, project I'm going to share with you is this Traveler's Notebook that I made. Um, I used the Stamperia Music. Um, paper pad for this uh, and this is my first time making a traveler's notebook um, I made it for somebody who's um, music inclined <laughs> musically inclined okay um, so it's a gift so um, I think I'm just gonna show you the front and the back of it um, but that's my first project share, okay? And my second is this um, easel card that I made with the, oops, let me get that paper pad out. Um, Mulberry Kisses um, paper, bad, paper pad by first edition, okay? And this I've had for a while. Um, it's got really pretty, um, papers um, and some of them are like some of them have like a fabric texture to it um, but very very pretty okay so that's that paper tab um, and I also use this um, sweet Tilda Magnolia stamp that I got from the rubberbuggy.com um, let's see, there's a name, no, there's no name on the back, so I'm not sure what she's called, um, but, um, but that's the stamp I used, and I'll just, let's give a quick look at the card, okay, um, oh, I did use from Crafter's Companion, um, one of their die sets, it was, I think this one of the Create a Cards, um, die sets, and I, uh, my um, my dies are over on the other table, but um, I just got that in from the Crafters Companion website um, from their sale. I think I bought it for like two or three dollars, um, so it was really a good deal. Um, but um, it's very pretty. The little butterflies. Okay, and I used some Prima stamps for the flower cluster. And um, the die set does come with um, um, two um, other little butterf butterfly dies, which is this one right here that I put on my flower cluster. Okay, and this one as well. Um, this one's a bigger one. Uh, and this is a smaller die that they um, included um, with, the, uh, with the regular die here. Okay, and then I just edged the card with some um, pretty satin ivory lace. Okay, there's my Tilda. I colored her with my Copic markers and my Spectra Noir markers. Okay, and then I used some, um, also some of the, that trim and some pearl trim for the stopper. Okay, so... Those are my two project shares, okay? Um, I'll put the Crafters Companion website link in the description box, um, as well as, let's see, um, if I can, I'll put the um, website um, for the, oh, the rubber buggy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> ah, okay. So let's get on with the, the rest of the video with the haul. Okay, so I went to Hobby Lobby, and I didn't get too much, um, but I know that they were having markdowns on their ribbon. Um, I saw a couple other hauls on YouTube, and um, they said they had marked down their ribbon. Unfortunately, this one that... I had seen get marked down in some videos was not marked down in my store. 
So that was kind of a bummer, but I really wanted, it was 50% off. It wasn't on clearance, but um, it was 50% off. So that was, that was good. So I bought this mint green um, trim. Okay. And this was actually how it, it lost the top part. <laughs> and this was the only one they had. So, um, so it was $3.99 with 50% off. So about two bucks. So I didn't think that was too bad. Um, so that's the, the trim. Okay, very pretty. Okay, um, and then I also got the same thing in pink. Okay, yeah, so it's $3.99. So I got it in pink. And I also got it in this ivory color. Okay. Okay. Um, and then the rest of the, the trims I did get, um, they were on clearance. So um, these were 99 cents. So I got this, um, this very, very pale mint green. And I did open this. Let's see if I can... Um, I thought I opened it. I did. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know. Okay. So that's the mint green color. And this also is 99 cents. So this is another um, mint green color. And this is this is more of a velvet. Um, so you can see a little bit better, but this is a velvet um, has a velvet texture to it. Okay, um, and then I got this floral pattern, and again this was ninety nine cents. Okay, it's very pretty with that. And the last one I got, also for 99 cents, was this um, pattern. Okay. And then I ended up getting, I needed some um, elastic cord. So round cord elastic. So I got one in black. And then I also got in white. So I needed some elastic. These were not on sale. These were $1.99. So I think I used my coupon on that. And then the rest I got was um, some glitter paper. Now these were all on sale for 49 cents. Yes. They were $1.99 and they were reduced to 49 cents. So this was in the clearance. Um, so this is like a, like a rose colored color. Okay, very pretty. Very sparkly, very chunky. Okay, so I got that color. I got two of these like bluish, um, yeah, they're, they're blue. I was going to say bluish grayish, but they're mostly blue. It's mostly blue. So I got two of those. Okay, and I got a gold, I got a couple golds. Okay, this one, hmm. It's not as chunky as the other ones, um, but that's okay. So I got the gold. I got two of those. Um, and then I got ended up getting a white. Okay. Okay, so that is my project shares and Hobby Lobby haul for today, guys. So, um, you know, leave a comment, uh, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.